some lawyers were displeased on the process in which the former chief justice of Nigeria was removed. Which candidate are you supporting? Why are you supporting the candidate? What are the campaign promises by the candidate? My name is Egbo Onwe and I'm a lifestyle content creator. So in the AGM meeting, some lawyers were displeased on the process in which the former Chief Justice of Nigeria was removed. Some were of the opinion that the Nigeria Bar Association, the bench, National Judicial Council, so lawyers did not come out for energy or did they talk. The truth is an injury to one, it's an injury to all of us. We are all colleagues and this life is top by turn. As they took on Naji, on Naji, and everybody quiet. <laughs> he go reach you. <laughs> See, eh? he go reach you. And make sure that your hands are clean so that when they come from you, you find not your, your, your opinion on the Onage saga. What do you think the Ninja Association, what did the National Judicial Council, what do you think other lawyers should have done? It's a popular saying that law. Is the last hope of a common man. But guess what? The common man sees the judges, sees the magistrate, sees the lawyer being attacked, being persecuted, being, being brutalized by the various law enforcement agencies. So the truth is, what hope are we giving the common man? The judiciary have been giving cars. It's celebrated, the ceremony, it makes headline. For crying out loud, those cars are for their position those are what they deserve those cars come with position those cars come with office but no it's judiciary it's make headline but guess what when those governors get their cars it doesn't make headline when the legislators get their cars doesn't make headline no <laughs> it's their ceremony no hmm. but it's judiciary now <laughs> you 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 call press you go to ceremony you do as if they are doing us a favor. An issue that was raised in the AGM meeting was the issue of the bar practicing fee. Okay? For those that are not lawyers that are watching me, for what you are called to the bar, the law says that you should pay your practicing fee every year before March 31st. Um, your, practicing fee, your practicing fee is calculated according to your year in the bar. It was explained that 10% goes to the various branches. So that the court to bar, I'll be paying my practicing fee. I cannot say one thing I benefit. For paying my participation, I cannot. And please don't tell me stamp by sale, eh? Because I still pay for my stamp by sale. But that is, I have still paid my participation for this year. Talking of palliative, I don't know if you see palliative for the National Bar Association, I don't know if you see palliative for your branch, I don't know if you see palliative for fellow lawyers. Those of you that job a card number for your branch and National Bar Association, I found that. You don't get a lot. Let me know in the comment section, please, because me, I have not received any palliative. I did not receive. She, 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 and so every year, those organizations come to the AGM meeting to give updates, reports of the activities in the past one year. Okay, the Corporate Affairs Commission came and apologized for for the current disruption of their online services as a result of infrastructural updates. See, if you're not subscribed, please, I need to subscribe now. Subscribe, yeah, subscribe. It's free. 
you're not paying tax as if you're not paying tax so subscribe or you so subscribe thank you see 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 some of your offices are understaffed please employ employ more staff please see people need to either get a new ac in the office or service the old one because when they come to people's office i will be sweating also the report from the nigeria law school stated the markets also the market scheme has been changed Previously, the market scheme was based on the least grades, for now it's based on average. <laughs> that explains why I did not make it first class. Shout out to everybody that made it first class. I did too too. Shout out to everybody that um, won an award. Please give me anybody that made the first class or won an award. Just write their name in the comment section. Please, oh, is it against the electoral guideline for the candidates to do a video? Is it against the electoral guideline for the supporters to do a video? I just want to create, I just want to create awareness. I want people to know more about the candidate. I want us to know more about their plans. This election, I just want everybody to be involved. We need to vote. We need to know who we are voting for we need to know why we are voting for the person because we need to bring back our lost glory as a lawyer okay as a profession as a body we need to all stand up and vote for the right person if you have an opportunity to interview any of the candidates what are the questions you ask what are the agenda you wanted to focus on what are the improvements you want to see in the MBA and in the legal profession? What changes do you want to see? Young lawyers, what do you want? Which area do you want the candidate to focus on? Which improvement do you want to see? Write in the comment section because the truth is the candidates are watching and are reading your comments. Which candidate are you supporting? Why are you supporting the candidate? What are the campaign promises by the candidates okay what are the qualities that makes the candidate a better option for us the truth is some people don't know the candidate for the election some people don't know the promises they are making some people don't know who to vote for okay kindly write in the comment section who you're supporting why you are supporting the person what changes is the person bringing to the mb and how are, how is the person going to make those changes come to pass you can write your comment in the comment section convince those of us who do not have candidates convince us to vote okay also why can't we have a zoom meeting whereby we can discuss with the prospective candidates mm -hmm. why can't we just fix a date where we have a zoom meeting where the candidate we talk to us tell us their qualification tell us their plan for the mba tell us how they're going to carry out their plan hello why if you're out there and you're in support of the zoom meeting please write in the comment section yes we need zoom meeting and if you're against the zoom meeting say let us not have a zoom meeting kindly rate the paul ozoro's led administration over 100 which of the mba conferences has been your best which of the mba conferences has been your worst what are the changes you want to see in the various mba conferences trust me our officials will be ready okay so let them know the changes you want to see in our conferences because a lot of changes needs to be made.
currently the owner of Terracotta is a lawyer. So we have lots of lawyers, barristers and solicitors who are in the entertainment industry, who are in the fashion industry, beauty industry, etc. Um, mention the others which I didn't mention here. Also, kindly mention the names of the entertainment lawyers you know and attach their social media and do thank you very much for watching if you have not subscribed please subscribe here like the video share you can share your whatsapp share your twitter share your instagram facebook write your comments please your comment is important watch my other videos eh? this is everyone where Signing out. Kisses.